And as we've she shown you before, it was a similar scene right here in Tampa, where so many Cubans who fled communism have built their lives and forever changed the fabric of our Tampa Bay community. ABC Action News reporter Julie Solomon joins us live near Del Mabry and Columbus Drive now. Julie, what specific messages did they want to send? Well, Wendy, so many of the protesters out here tonight have friends and family in Cuba, and they are fighting for human rights. They are fighting for freedom. This is a live look at the intersection right now. Tampa police officers are still out here at this hour, blocking off traffic to this area on North Del Mabry and West Columbus. And it has rained off and on tonight, but these protesters are still out here. Eddie Conde waving the Cuban flag. He is showing support for the thousands of people living in Cuba who are protesting the island's communist government. My whole family in Cuba, my mom, my dad, sister, brother-in-law, my grandparents, everybody's in Cuba. Hundreds packing the streets around Al Lopez Park in Tampa as a crowd formed nearby on North Del Mabry Highway and West Columbus Drive. Demonstrators fed up with the poor economic conditions in Cuba, the lack of freedom, food, and medicine. We are asking for the U.S. Uh, government to help either military intervention or let the Cuban people go and bear arms for our country. So many people we spoke to have family or friends living in Cuba. Every Cuba that is here has his family there. And they are risking everything there and we are risking everything here for them too. They are not alone. Demonstrators tried getting onto I-275, police responding to keep them off the interstate. Conde tells me he fled Cuba seven years ago. He shares family photos with me, including one of him as a toddler living in Cuba. He says America gave him opportunity and freedom. He met his wife in the U.S. and they have a three-year-old son. To see the opportunity to develop a life with the family, to grow, to create. That's the opportunity that this country gave us, and we are very thankful. And this crowd has walked up and down Del Mabry tonight, as well as Himes Avenue. Again, this intersection of Columbus and um, Himes Avenue is blocked off right now. That is the latest live here in Tampa. Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.